Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how much could depending on your location, please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos. Today is Friday, the 5th day of April 2024. I bring you news update. It's a miscarriage of justice. Kano Films has his first appeal against the judgment of Bintanyako. That's the 19th day of March. Denial of bail. Application by Justice Bintan Yako of the Federal High Court. Yes. Now, Mazin Amdekano, according to the Notice of Appeal documents, yes, informed the appeal court that the lower court erred when it denied him his constitutional rights for fair trial. Yes. His constitutional rights to fair trial. Now, Onion do noted that the Department of State Services says, failed to provide adequate facilities to prepare for the defense of the criminal allegations against him and his right to counsel of his own choice, thereby occasioning a grave miscarriage of justice. Now, the notice of appeal with, with the charge number FHC slash ABJ slash CR slash 383 slash 2015 says, Quote, take notice that the appellant being dissatisfied with the ruling of the Federal High Court Abuja Division, Goham, BFM Nyako, J, delivered on the 19th March 2024, dot hereby appeal to the Court of Appeal Abuja upon the ground set out in paragraph 3 below, and we, at the hearing of the appeal, seek reliefs, are set out in paragraph 4, Heard of from the Court of Appeal. The learned trial court erred in law when the court assumed jurisdiction to proceed with the hearing of the criminal trial against the appellant when the appellant is glaringly denied the constitutional right to a fair trial with particular reference to denial of adequate facilities to prepare for the defense of the criminal allegations against the appellant. That's Mazinam the Kano, and his right to counsel of his own choice, thereby occasioning a grave miscarriage of justice. Fair hearing and trial bears the constitutional safeguards of ensuring that the appellant, that's only the Mazinam the Kano, is accorded the adequate facilities to prepare for the defense of the criminal allegations leveled against the appellant, that's only the Mazinam the Kano. The denial of the uh, of the appellant, that is only the Mazinam Kano, the opportunity to interact and brief his counsel on what line of defense is the appellant, that is only the Mazinam Kano, tends to agitate in the trial court and rely on what is adequately brought to the attention of the trial court by motion. The trial court failed and neglected to make necessary orders that would protect the appellant, that is only the Mazinam Kano have foreseen the rights, but rather heard that the court cannot dictate how the respondent carries out his work. That's respondent here, yeah, the federal government. Now, the trial court has the powers to order the respondent, that's the federal government, being the detaining authority to cease and desist from interfering with appellants, that's only the Muslim canons, constitutional, fair hearing rights, to adequate facilities to prepare defense and his right to counsel of his choice. And where it is impossible to do so, or where the respondent persists, the trial court has the power to order an alternative custodial arrangement or non custodial arrangement for the appellant, that's only the Mazinam Kano. Denial of the appellant's right, that's only the Mazinam Kano, to adequate facilities to prepare defense as enshrined in section 36b of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 is a jurisdictional issue in the absence of which the trial court cannot assume or proceed with the jurisdiction over the case unless and until such facilities are accorded to the appellate that's only in the Muslim Canon. End of quote. Now, this is it. All right. The legal team stated that the judge erred when he heard that, quote, 
I cannot make others directing security agency on how to do their work. I can only direct what that whatever is within the law must be allowed to the defendant. Counsel cannot direct court or give condition to the court on how to conduct his business. End of quote. And now this is it. This is what Bintanyako said. And so the leader of the IPOB said he is not satisfied with that judgment of the 19th of March. Yes, 2024. So he has filed an appeal. Yes, at the appellate court. That is what is happening now. So the 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 legal team they are asking that the that the government, the federal government and their agencies should stop the eavesdropping on Mazinam Khan's confidential consultation and conversations with the with his counsel, which discussion is aimed at preparing for his defense. Yes. Now they said the respondent denied counsel to only do the right to take notes. Denied them the right to transmit messages and information to Onyen Dumasinamikano. Secretly took pictures of the counsel and the and Onyen Dus interviews and the scan documents meant for Onyen Du. Yes. So the, from his team of lawyers and even refused to allow his lawyers to deliver letters to him. Yes. Now they say the action of the government, DSS and all of them, in the instant case is a flagrant violation of Onyendu's right to counsel of his own choice as stipulated in Section 36 C of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1989, as amended. Now, they accused Justice Nyako of erring in law by ordering for accelerated hearing of the case, given the facts of the case showing that the respondent, that's the DSS and government, had consistently refused to afford the the afford Oyendu the right to adequate facility to prepare for his defense of the charges leveled against him and his right to counsel, and thereby occasion miscarriage of justice against him. That's Oyendu. Yes, and that is in the favor of the DSS and the government. Yes, that's the respondent. Now, Onyendu stressed that, look, he said, the judge cannot order a celebrated hearing of criminal charge where it is brought to the attention of the court that, the, that himself, Onyendu, is denied the adequate facilities to prepare his defense and his right to counsel. Yes, so... The order for accelerated hearing of the case in face of the constitutional breaches of fair hearing trial rights of Onyendu is a credence to the DSS and government to proceed on the unconstitutional denial of Onyendu his right to adequate facilities to prepare for his defense and his right to counsel of his choice. Yes, this is what is happening. Okay? So that is where we are now. Mazina Makano is challenging his, the denial you know, of his uh, the bail on 19th March. And that is where we are now, at the Court of Appeal. There's no waiting for the said accelerated hearing you know, of the Justice Bintanyako.